Alright, ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing? This is a PS3 tutorial for you guys, and I'll be showing you, um, basically, how to get Super Nintendo running on your PS3. Uh, this is a Super Nintendo emulator, so, uh, for the foremost part, I will be showing you A, what the download is, B, where to place this downloaded file in your USB stick right here, which I'm showing right now, and, uh, C, I will be showing you how to install it properly. And finally, D, I will be showing you how to copy ROMs to your system uh, to uh, be played and how to change the directory and the settings of this emulator. So, first and foremost, what you're going to need to do is download this file right here, which is the uh, IV0002-SNES90000. And uh, it's going to be dash sample 000, a whole bunch of zeros, one dot pkg. What you are going to need to do is take a USB cable or uh, whatever device you're kind of using. I'm using a USB drive, not a USB cable, my bad. And uh, all you're going to do is, after downloading, drag and copy this to the root of the USB. Now, I've already done that, but I'm just going to copy and replace it anyway. So allow that to copy over. Should be about 20 megabytes. Once that has copied over, what you're going to do now is after that, we can exit this and I will meet you guys at the PS3 for the install of this emulator. Now, I will say you need to be on custom firmware in order to do this. This will run on DEX or CEX and it works on 4.46 custom firmwares and I am running it on uh, 4.46 uh, Habib version 2.05. So let's go to the PS3 and install this, and I will show you the basic setting. All right, so here we are at the PS3, and simply what we're going to be looking at is we're going to scroll over to the game category and go down and click on install package files. If you have a rebug custom firmware, you're going to look at the basic setting once you click in here. Otherwise, you're just going to click install package files and it will come up. Scroll down till you see the four. Uh, SNES 990,000 sample thing and uh, you're going to click X and install that. Once the installation is complete, which I've already installed it here and I'm not going to override it for the sake of, you know, just because it's already there, you will see the SNES 9X uh, with the little wannabe Windows symbol come up there and uh, we're going to go from there. So what you're going to do is uh, beforehand, whatever ROMs you want, make a ROMs folder on your USB stick and put the ROMs on the USB and I'm going to show you based upon my theory on how to do this in simplicity. So first things first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put some ROMs in the SNES folder. So what you're going to do is you're going to go and boot up your uh, Multiman slash Stealthman whatever you have. 4.46.04 uh, is the one that I'm running on. Just recently updated. If you need that go check out those videos. Uh, I have the uh, 4.4603 uh, and then just install the 4.4604 patch to get to where I am. Uh, so the downloads are all there. Notice how it says new Showtime player available. I will be making a video on how to update the Showtime as well. Uh, but for the most part, this is what we're going to be looking at. So first things first, you're going to go to File Manager MMOS. Then after you do that, simply all you're going to do is scroll over to the uh, PS3 root and double click on that and open it up. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go look for the HDD0 uh, which is this here and then you're going to go to game and then all you're going to simply do is scroll down till you see the SNES uh, 9000 which is a fucking pain in the ass for me to see on this screen so hold on one second and alright so let's see so scroll down till you see the um, SNES on uh, 90,000 and uh, all you're going to do is simply go down there and open up that folder and then open up the user directory and then open up the ROMs folder. As you can see this is where I've placed my ROMs. If you're wondering how to get the ROMs all you do is simply go and open up another root and go to the USB 000 which is the far right USB that I have go in my ROMs folder and you can simply just select all the Super Nintendo ROMs that you have downloaded from wherever you got them and uh, just simply hit circle on them and hit copy and all you're gonna do is paste them in this directory once you've pasted them in this directory we can go back to multi-man here and we can 
scroll over and we can exit to the uh, the XMB so let's quit to the XMB real quick and now we're gonna go boot up our emulator after you've copied the files over so again in multiman go into the uh, file manager and then go to the PS3 root locate the HDD 000 and scroll to game and then go into the SNES 90,000 folder and the uh, user directory and then the ROM folder and put your ROMs in there so here we go and we're gonna start up the emulator starting up the emulator now all you're gonna simply do is allow this to boot up it gives it give it a second because it takes a little while uh, but not too long and then you'll see this now what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna go and hit select to go to the settings screen and all you're gonna do is go to path and start ROM directory you just hit X on that and you will come to here so what you're gonna do is select dev HDD 0 and then scroll down to game if you hit the R1 button you can skip to the next page so it's quicker and click SNES 90,000 open that up user directory and then select ROMs and then after you do that um, you just uh, hit triangle to return the settings and that's pretty much it and then what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to quit the game and restart it because for some reason you can't exit the settings <clears throat> so we're gonna quit the game and I'm gonna restart it and then I will show you the emulator alright so back at the XMB simply just go back into this emulator start it up and here's the final and finished product of whatever emulator ROMs that you want to run so here we go and simply all we're gonna do is go down here I'm gonna select ROMs and I'm gonna go ahead and select Super Mario All-Stars uh, because that's the classic game that everybody knows and hit start and here we go so that's Super Mario All-Stars right there so that's what we're dealing with here so there you go and I will just prove to you that the game works just for the lack of saying hey it's good um, so uh, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna start this up real quick and hit start start and there you have it Super Mario World Start one player game and uh, you can save with these two so there you go. So rate, comment, and subscribe. Remember, the download is below. And let me know what you guys think. More emulators coming your way and all that fun jazz. So check out my website, software-reborn.com. And uh, also follow me on Twitter, at death 333 which soon will be Software Reborn. And uh, go, don't forget to check out my Google blog forms over there in case you're using the Google+. Plus. And as always, enjoy your emulator. And uh, if you need ROMs, go ahead and go to coolrom.com and download all of those ROMs there that you want. So take it easy, guys, and I will talk to you later. Enjoy your emulator. And like I said, more to come. Stay tuned for more videos and enjoy.